Hello guys and welcome to this Volks Wizard car sales video on this 2019-19 Reg Audi S3 Sportback S-Tronic Automatic. It's in Daytona Grey, it's had one mature private owner from you. It's got full Audi service history, it's been serviced every year. It's only just over two and a half years old. Right now it's got the balance of Audi warranty to mid-March 2022. And as a special deal for sales in November, we're going to chuck in 15 months warranty wise Platinum Plus cover on top of the balance of the warranty. So starting from March next year, you'll get another 15 months cover, which warranty wise call it the equivalent of a continuation of the manufacturer's warranty. I mean, check the terms and conditions, that might be a bit exaggerated, but it's still the best warranty from the best warranty company. You don't have to pay anything other than the asking price of this car, which is £30,990. The only reason we're doing that is because we visited Tetbury Audi the other day and they had, uh, I think, an Arrow Blue car, um, higher mileage, same price. So we've got to be competitive and this is probably as good an S3 as you're going to get wherever you buy it from because we believe all the paint is original and it's 100% unmodified. The only imperfections which you might be able to get resolved under warranty, just have a look at this wheel because I don't think it's got anything on it, is a couple of bits of corrosion on the wheels. So it's not this side. I don't think it's curb damage related there. Maybe it is, it's a little chip, not really worth refurbing. You could probably tee cut most of that off. And then just here, there's a similar one as well. Uh, that is it, the car's still on its original Pirelli tires. They've got as much tread as you'd need to get the car through an Audi approved used scheme. So a main dealer wouldn't change the tires. It's had an easy life because the tires have still got so much tread on them. We've got the original Milton Keynes Audi number plates front and back. It's been paint protected at some point as well. And you can tell, I mean, Daytona Grey is a pretty good color anyway, but it looks, it looks like a new car. That's not hyperbole, it is. It's just incredible. It was garaged every night and um, you can tell. So there is nothing to report. Have a good look down the sides. Have a look at the front. I mean, look at that bonnet edge. If only all cars were that good. And then have a look down this side. Okay, let's now talk about the spec then. So it hasn't got many options, but by this point, the spec was pretty good anyway. So we've got these 18 inch uh, double five spoke wheels, diamond cut with a gray finish as well. We've got silver mirror covers. We've got silver around the windows and on the front grille. At the back, we've got a bit of silver trim, uh, quite a bold diffuser, the trademark S3 four tailpipes, which I think look better on this car than Golf R. We've got front and rear parking sensors, LED headlights. Let's have a look at those. We've obviously LED daytime running lights, headlamp washers, S3 on the calipers, which are black. So a very classy, understated spec, this car. And then inside, well, we've got these lovely mats, which uh, have got honeycomb and a red stripe around them. Really nice touch, got contrast stitching on the seats. We've got S logo embossed. Uh, chrome tips on the door card, a bit of fake leather there and a nice bit of aluminium there. Really nice quality door card. Oh yeah, Ill illuminated S branded sill protectors, nice touch. I wish that they do those on a Golf. Automatic headlights. We've got the virtual cockpit, which is a digital instrument cluster. Was an option initially on these facelift S3s. Um, it's on this car and I think it was free of charge at this point because it's quite a late car. Stainless steel pedals. S logo on the steering wheel, perforations there. Just look at how good that wheel is. We've of course got two keys and a lot of paperwork. Extendable thigh support on these seats. Leather, well, probably leather look, centre console there. Um, mobile phone charging wireless via the pad in there. I think it's wireless anyway. Um, but we connected to the head unit for CarPlay via a normal cable, which there you can see is on the screen, which goes up and down with this button. We've got on there navigation, which you can also have simultaneously on the main screen. Just press that button there and there we go. 
and that's really nice resolution. It does make this car feel a lot more modern than some of the earlier cars. We've got dual climate, we've got drive select with the driving modes. We've just got passive dampers so you can't make the suspension harder or softer. As I said, front and rear parking sensors there. Auto hold for the electric parking brake. That means you, you don't have to touch it, it just looks after itself. And uh, yeah, as you can see, mats, carpets, it's all just in brilliant condition. Have a look at that as well. Let's um, have a look at the back because they can be pretty well used, but nope, this car's not kicked about. Mats are mint, seats really don't look like they've been used an awful lot. Again, door cards, mint. In the boot, you can tell a lot about a car by the boot, and when it's this mint, hopefully just good things. So there's a 12 volt socket in there, and uh, you've got your curry hook there, and some tools in there. Under this mint boot carpet and seat back, we've got um, the subwoofer for the standard premium sound system. We've got the tyre repair kit in the back there as well, all complete and still in date. And again, just mint on this side as well. Seal's not kicked about. It's it's just pretty much unbelievable. I had to pay good money for this car, but it was worth it. And if you're looking for it, just a tidy, unmessed around with S3, this is the one. Uh, book pack there, all complete. Uh, CD player, SD card for nav, and a passenger airbag, the activation switch right there. Flock line glove box as well, good mats. Okay, I think all that's left is to give you a look under the bonnet, but we will come back inside and start it up in a sec. The latest cars have got the bonnet icon on the bonnet release. And of course we've got a hydraulic strut to keep the bonnet up. So there we have the uh, 2 litre 4 cylinder petrol turbo EA AAA engine producing in this car 300 horsepower. And uh, yeah, it's proven pretty tough really. I mean, this car's only done 13,500 miles, so it's got a lot of life ahead of it yet. All the original stickers there, as I say, totally unmodified, which is quite a rarity. I love the S3, but if I was a buyer trying to find a really good one, I'd probably be put off because it would be so hard. So if that's you, come and see me. All right, let's get inside. I think it's the original windscreen as well. Definitely an original brand. Okay, so it's just complaining because the ignition's on. So for the brake, and it shuts up. There we go, no warning lights apart from the fact the parking brake's on. And get rid of that as well. So cruise control there, it's not adapted, just normal cruise. Paddle shifters there, and a really nice steering wheel with piano black there, and the leather's just mint, bit of gray stitching on it. My favorite bit of this interior is the effort they went to with the 12 volt socket blank just look at that gear knob is a uh, gear knob is in great condition as well just have a look at that the release lever on the front electronic badge there all intact audio uh, volume control right there you got it on the steering wheel as well and uh, there you go headliner as you'd imagine is perfect as well all right Let's get out. <clears throat> there we go, thanks for watching this Volkswagen car sales video on this 2019 19 Reg Audi S3 Sportback. If you need any more information on this car, do not hesitate to get in touch. My name is Andrew Chappell and hopefully see you for a viewing or a test drive very soon.